We are going to learn more tools that you can put into your toolbox so that you can self-soothe whenever your emotions are taking you for a ride. First, let's discuss coping mechanisms. There are maladaptive coping mechanisms. These are negative coping mechanisms typically learned in childhood that are really unhelpful. This can include avoiding your emotions, drinking, finding some addictive vice, um, causing a fight. There's different types of these coping mechanisms that as a young child, when you didn't have the tools and the vernacular, you just did whatever you could to survive. And over time, whether it's pouting or getting angry or throwing things, you do this over and over again, it creates a pattern. And that becomes your go-to coping mechanism. The good news is because of neuroplasticity, we can change them. And you are now going to learn adaptive coping mechanisms. These are things that you can do to help manage your emotions, get yourself back to a grounded state, get back to an equilibrium without doing something you're probably gonna regret later. So let's dive into it. I'm going to share with you two main techniques. You are going to use this over and over again throughout your life. It is a game changer. So the first thing is when you are feeling triggered, maybe it's anxiety or anger, First, feel where is it in your body. Understand what is actually happening when you feel triggered. Well, your body is being flooded with cortisol, stress hormones, and adrenaline. What is adrenaline's job? Adrenaline's job is to make you take action. That is why when you're triggered, whether you saw a photo of your ex on social media, or it's at night and you're feeling really lonely, whatever it is that triggers you, it's causing you, the adrenaline is wanting you to take action. So you will maybe contact your ex or write a nasty email or do something in that reactive state. So what you need to do is you can't just think positive thoughts and this emotion's gonna go away. You need to move these chemicals through your body. So here is your hack. You are going to do a state change the next time you're triggered. And it's the two minute shake it out method. Pretty simple. You set your timer for two minutes. Find some space put on the timer, and you shake your body from head to toe. If that feels a bit funny, do jumping jacks. Do something to move your body. And you will see animals do this in the wild. What happens is, let's take gazelles. They're in the wild. They see something that might eat them. They freeze. Then they realize, oh, they're not in danger. They shake their body from head to toe. And then eventually they prance on as if nothing has happened. Shaking it out helps metabolize the adrenaline and the stress hormones. After you shake it out, you're gonna pair it with a deep breathing exercise. Thank you for watching my video. This was part of the Bigger Breakup Bootcamp Masterclass where you can learn all the different tools and research back tips on how to heal your heart. You can click on the link below to take the masterclass or if you wanna book me for a private session, you can book me for a call.